gonna leave now so you both can talk privately. Oh, you know what? Will you stay? Actually, I mean, if that's okay with you, I just, I just feel like both of you need to know everything that happened. Very well. So, I understand from your mother that things in Aspen didn't go as you expected. Hope and Liam were staying at his father's retreat. It's very private, and they thought they'd be able to get away from the paparazzi there. And obviously you weren't. No, the paparazzi was always on my trail. It's like they knew my every move before I even made it. I just wanted to be with Liam. I just wanted to be alone with him, to reconnect with him. And I really thought that Aspen was the answer. And it was. Just not the way I imagined. On the way in from the airport, you said something. About Steffi and Liam paying the price. You never did really explain that. I'm really sorry Steffi got hurt. And I'm really sorry that I took that pill. What pill? I'm sure my mom told you about the pills that I got online. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you how dangerous that is to order medication online, especially without a prescription. I know. Right. I know I wasn't thinking. And I haven't been thinking for a long time. What have you been doing, Hope? <sighs> Running from the press, from my fans, from myself. Honey, none of that is your fault. No, Mom, I, I really love you for saying that. You're not responsible. For no, that. Mom, I am responsible for the choices that I've made. I never should have gone skiing after taking that pill. God, but there were, there were paparazzi everywhere. They were all around Bill's house. They were taking pictures of me through the windows. Oh, God. I should have called Liam instead. I know that. But I was falling apart, and I didn't want them to see me like that. So I took the pill, and then I stupidly went skiing once Liam got home. Without telling him you were medicated? Yep. And that's when I crashed into Steffi and then just skied off without even making sure that she was okay. Who does that? What kind of person does that? I mean, I, I know that I have issues with Steffi, but I never would have done something like that to her had I been myself. And that's the thing. I, I'm, I'm not myself. And that has to change. And it will, starting right now. Sounds like Steffi's accident was a clarifying moment for you. She could have been seriously hurt because of me. Because of the bad choices that I made. Sweetheart, don't do this to yourself. No, Mom, I've, I've made things so much worse. I've been insensitive. I left Steffi on the slopes. Thank God Liam came down when he did. Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised that he's even talking to me right now. He knows what you've been going through. He knows you took another pill? I told him everything. How did he react? Concerned about how out of control my life is. Out of control? How did you feel about that? I feel like he's right. I did a lot of soul searching on the plane ride back and Right now, I feel like I'm at a crossroads. You know, I, I've got to find a way to reconcile my values and my principles with the way that I am living my life. Isn't that what it all comes down to? Yeah. I mean, you've been in conflict with yourself for quite some time now. You know, you've made some choices and they haven't worked for you. And now you seem ready to, to make changes, you know, that's... Sounds like you've been doing a lot of thinking. I'd, I'd really like to know what you're thinking. I, I want to hear your conclusions. Oh, Hope. Okay. I think what you're going through is uh, what many young people experience when they find their, their core beliefs and values are out of sync with their actions. You have made love to and are living with a married man. That violates your own very deeply held principles. And yes, you love Liam. And yes, he loves you too. 
But in sharing a life together outside of matrimony, there's a hypocrisy there that, that the press has picked up on and your fans have picked up on. and It's hitting home because I think on some level you believe what they're saying is true. I know. And that's what I'm struggling with. Okay. Tell me about your struggles. I want to know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Maybe... I think maybe I should move out until their divorce is final and Liam and I are married. That's a really hard decision. But for you, I think it's a good decision. I think it's something that you and Liam need to assess together. Okay. Is that why you stayed behind in Aspen? To give you some time to think? Without pressure? Or is there more to it? 